but you know, what's it been like for you now you're finally close to this season just the offseason process for you do you feel like you're 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 ready to to be back on on the court like what, what have you improved on uh it's real exciting honestly uh after having a year of sitting out and uh my year at nevada being able to be up here and uh be with a new team a new group of guys and season's right around the corner it's really exciting to you know get back out there especially after all the work that has been put in this off season you've and seen it all year. yeah you've seen some of the new guys come in trickle in this off season uh besides the guy sitting next to you uh who's who's stood out to you uh they all bring like a lot of uh like different things a lot of different great things that uh they can they kind of show and it's like just good for me to compete against all of them for Specifically, what you you got out of last year, and how much different of a player? Like, what can you what do you feel more confident about now than you did maybe that freshman year at Nevada? Uh, I feel like I have a better feel for the system. You know, after being in college for uh, three years, well, going on to my third year, uh, I have a better feel. Like, just for the game, like I've grown as a player, and uh, like I said, I have a better feel for the system and just gain more overall confidence in what I can do. You know, a lot of guards with multiple skills can score. I mean, is it just like a free for all out there, or, or you know? And obviously, you're. I'm guessing you're using a lot of three guards, uh, you know, in five on fives. And you know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering how it's gone for you. Who are you up against? And you know, uh, what's it been like? Um, practice is going real well. I feel like I'm up against almost every guard that we have. It's just the rotation of everybody. It's a lot of vers- versatility on this team. So. A lot of guys can play in a lot of different spots. And as you know, I can play a lot of different spots. So I'm just in here playing basketball, doing what Coach Miller tells me to do. Was there anything about, I mean, you, you're you pretty skilled at getting to the basket. I mean, was there a time when, like you said, you realized it's a little tougher here? I mean, where, where somebody rejected you or something like that, where you had to had to figure out a different way to, to, to compensate or anything like that? Um, I definitely had to figure out a different way, different way to score at the basket. Um, it's just because it's college, it's a new level. I'd get used to it. But since practice is going on, I don't find any problem with it. I'm just keep playing basketball. I was also curious just your thoughts on, uh, you know, being from Arizona and you've got guys from all over the world on this team. And, you know, I, I just was curious if you talked to them about what it's like to grow up here and, you know, in the Phoenix area and, what it's like or anything like that to you know and on the other hand do they tell you about where where they're from yeah we have a lot of different people from a lot of different places here and I feel like Phoenix is a lot different from Tucson so this is still different for me but it is cool being one of the only guys from over here and it's just real cool to just know that we all from different places all trying to have one goal you taking that gold jersey away How, how did you get that done I mean, just come on and practice every practice and hard, uh, hard work. And, you know, Jordan, it was really tough to take it away for Jordan because every practice is Jordan played really hard. So it's really hard to, like, take it away from him. Uh, I mean, all I did is just come practice, ready to practice every day and just show out basically. And, yeah, that's all he is. I think last year you were probably the most improved guy over the last few years, start to finish. Uh, how was that for you? And, and how much more have you improved since the season ended? I mean, it was pretty exciting last, last year because I wasn't playing a lot. So just for me to have uh, extra reps in the weight room, we coach around, just extra reps on the court, just working on my game, my hook shot, my shots. It was really exciting. And by the end, at the end of the year, I was playing a little bit more. So... It was just showing me like hard work pay off. And even this year, I started during the quarantine, I had access to a gym, so I kind of work on my game. And I think I'm a much better player this year. Uh, pour le deux, a uh, qui est uh, le meilleur coéquipe et a pourquoi? I don't really have a best team in the team. I feel like uh, we have a great team and everybody's cool. But uh, uh, I get along more with Christian because he's a uh, French speaker. And we are roommates, so it's really, it's really cool to like have a teammate who speaks the same language as you, on the court and on the court. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Silo. A lot of guards on this team with a lot of different skills. You know, how how has that been? And you know, with your game, have you made any adjustments to kind of deal with with the, the talent on this team? Oh uh, yeah, I feel like uh, my game improved a lot. You know, because uh, playing with NBA Academy last year, I was I was the point guard. I was you know. Uh, one of the taller guys, but I was still a point guard in, in this team. 
are like one of the taller point guard. I'm a big guard, so like um, I'm playing with James, Kerr, and uh, Terrell, who are, they are shorter than me. So I got to take the role of knowing the plays, uh, two, three. I got to adjust myself. I got to guard from one to three. So um, I feel like my game still improving. Uh, even if I'm not playing like the position that I used to play, but like uh, I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm still loving it. So, and I get to know a lot of positions. You know, uh, uh, three guards a lot, and and you're playing maybe a three in a lot of cases, or a guy like Dalen maybe as a three. I mean, what what do you think kind of has been working out the best so far? Uh, I feel like it kind of be uh, it can be really different. Like when we play in a big team, I might play example, I might play a three, I might play the two. But like if you play a small team, I might play the three and like maybe four because I might have like uh, mismatches and I feel like it's going to be the best for our team. So I'm going to just do it and uh, do it for, do it to win. What, what what kind of changes have you had to make? Yeah, it's been different, a little bit different than last year because last year we used to wake up at like eight. We have breakfast at like eight. This year we have to wake up every, every, uh, every day at six. But we all fine with that because it's part of what we have to do to play and we all want to play. So I think it's just natural for us now to just wake up at 6 a.m. every morning, go to lift with Coach Ron or just go te- uh, to testing first. And, you know, it's, we all really used to that. So I think, yeah. <laughs> Coach was saying that you were playing more off the ball in practice, and I was just kind of curious your thoughts on how that's gone and what kind of role you might play this season. I mean, is that something, you know, that's worked out that you like, or how's it gone? Uh, it's been fun playing off the ball, actually. Um, like you said, just haven't had many uh, reps at the one, so I, it took me a minute to get comfortable, I feel, at the two. Uh, just playing that a lot, but I've been uh, being aggressive. The coaches have been preaching that to me, just be aggressive and uh, and look to score. And I'm getting more comfortable and I'm, I'm feeling really good. And how's everything going with uh, physically with your knees and all that? Is that, you know, you had any issues at all this year? Or do you feel like a new player in some sense, maybe? And uh, yeah, way? no issues at all. I've been uh, working hard, stretching a lot, uh, just doing a lot of things to take care of my body, working with J-Rock and, and rounds as well. So, um, I mean, I've been feeling really good since I got to campus and, and over the summer and uh, yeah, haven't had any problems at all. Kind of talk about what your experience has been like so far and, and some of the competition you face in practice, uh, you know, uh, what's kind of jumped out at you. Uh, so far it's been pretty good. Um, the competitiveness in practice has been, um, uh, been really fun and just getting better playing against really good athletes, really good basketball players and just getting better every day as a team and individually has been really fun and I've enjoyed my time in practice so far. Yeah, maybe it's early to tell, but I mean, do you know what kind of role you'd expect right away, uh, at least this season anyway, or, you know, where, you know, obviously we've heard a lot about your shooting ability. I mean, you see yourself as a guy who can, can kind of, um, you know, bring that at, at, at times or what, what kind of, what do you uh, think? Yeah, I feel like I can, I can definitely uh, make shots when, when uh, I have the opportunity, um, we'll see what my role is uh, this year. It's still early. Um, whatever the coaching staff needs, um, I'll try to um, provide that to my best ability. You're the grizzled veteran of this team. Is that right? And and I was just kind of wondering because of that, if you can kind of put in perspective what's going on this fall. What does the team look like after all you've been through? Yeah, four years. Man, they've flown by. Um, every team's different. Um, and my first year coming in, I was a special group. And then sophomore, junior year, a special group. Um, but no, this year, uh, I like the guys. Um, we, we bond well together. But, of course, we're in an unprecedented time. So we're all just adjusting to new things. But we're getting along real well. So I like the way things are headed. What's, uh, you know, what, what kind of the strong points of this team or anything jumping out to you in practice that you're seeing that bodes well for this team? Oh, uh, man, we got... A lot of length. We got a lot of young guys. Um, I mean, what we have six European dudes. That's first time in a while. But um, everybody brings something different to the table, which is really cool. And um, it's just cool to feed off of other people's play styles and stuff like that. So we're, we're learning each and every day with not only what coaches teaches us, but um, from the players we play against. Just uh, for each of you, what do you think you guys um, specifically add add to the team? It can be basketball related or maybe not basketball related. Yeah, uh, every day just try to be your best and um, put yourself in practice. So just trying to make guys better. And I mean, just 
you know, walk on, you kind of see from the outside angle and it's kind of like, wow, like, you know, some guys are really good at this and we want to work on that. And like, you can kind of help them. And so in practice, you kind of push them to do something that they're a little more uncomfortable doing. Um, but then off the court, just being that guy to always be there, you know, not everyone's going to have a good practice, obviously. So um, just being that uh, shoulder that they can lean on and just talk to them and get them through the uh, little struggles that they're going with. Uh, yeah, just to piggyback off of what Matt said, um, just trying to push guys in practice every day, um, make them better. And then, you know, especially this year is a, is a lot different with COVID. Uh, we don't know. We might get called up randomly in a game. So, you know, we always got to be ready and uh, we just got to stay ready uh, uh, for that. For that. Like Matt and Jordan said, also just pushing guys in practice, you know, being the best you can be to get them better is probably the most important thing.